In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this flat padlock design in Adobe Illustrator. So for this illustration, I will be using a 1920 and 1080 pixel canvas with RGB color mode. Now rename the default layer to outline and make another layer called color. Now bring the outline layer in the top. Here I added the color in the swazes panel that I'm gonna using in this video. I will leave the color link in the description so don't forget to check it. Now give a stroke color with 4 point thickness and round caps and corner. I'm using this color for the stroke. Now select a rectangle and make a rectangle like this. And make sure you selected the outline layer. From the transform tool, uncheck the scale stroke and effects. Now select the rectangle tool again and make another rectangle like this. Select everything, set align to artboard and center align. Now select these two anchor points using the direct selection tool and make them round. And for this rectangle, make all the corner a little bit round. Now select this shape, go to object, path and offset path. Turn on the preview and set the offset value minus 44 pixel. Now activate the direct selection tool, select these two anchor point and make them like this. Now you can see here are two different shapes. Now select both shape, activate the shape builder tool and click in this part. Now you can see this part is separated. So keep this part and remove the extra part. So here is one shape now. Now select the ellipse tool and make a small circle. And one rectangle like this. Now select everything and align to center. Now select these two shape, activate the shape builder tool and drag to make them together. Now select these two anchor point using the direct selection tool and make them round. Ok so the outline of the design is done. Now we have to add color. For that select all the shape, hold all from your keyboard and drag this little square icon into the color layer. Now lock the outline layer. By doing this, we duplicated all the shape for one more time and transferred them into the color layer. Now select all the stroke color and convert them to fill color. Now select this shape and give it a color. I am giving this color for this shape. And this color for the handle. Now select this shape and give it a dark color. Again select this shape, go to object, path and offset path. And this time make the offset value minus 9 pixel. Now give it a color. Alright, now we have to add some light and shadow. So select the rectangle tool again and make a rectangle like this. Now give it a light color. Now select this two shape and delete the extra part using the shape builder tool. I think I need to change this color. Perfect. Now let's add some shadow. For that select this shape, go to edit, copy and then, then paste in front. Give it a dark color and make another copy by holding alt from your keyboard. Ok now select this two shape and delete the extra part using the shape builder tool. And here we got our shadow. Now make another light using the same method. I'm not gonna explain this time. Dun, 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 dun,
perfect so we created one light and one shadow and now it looks better okay now let's add some light and shadow to the handle using the same method copy paste it in front now change the color make another copy by holding alt frame your keyboard now select both shape and delete the extra part this time let's keep these two part one is for light and one is for shadow perfect now select the ellipse tool and make few more lights and shadow like this Do the same thing on the handle. Now select the paint tool or press P from your keyboard to activate it and make a line like this. Turn off the fill color only stroke. Now select it and change the uniform to this one. And increase the stroke size to 4 pt. And do the same thing on the other side. Sorry, I have to give it a light color. Perfect. Now unlock the outline layer. Select everything and place it middle of the canvas. Now make a background using the rectangle tool. And make sure you selected the color layer. Now give it a color. And then right click, arrange and send to back. Now select this stroke and give it a light color. Now make a shadow using the ellipse tool like this. And give it a dark color. Let's place it perfectly. Now select the shadow and background then right click, arrange and send to back. While select multiple shape, press shift from your keyboard. Now select the shape and duplicate it for one more time. Then convert the stroke color into fill color. Now select the eraser tool, hold alt from your keyboard and drag to delete the half of the shape. And then change the opacity to 10% or 15%. And we are done. We perfectly created a flat padlock design in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or problems, join our Facebook group and post it there. See you in the next one.